Ever wondered if doctors could have a dark side? Well, these once respected figures find themselves confronting the repercussions of their concealed misdeeds. You will be crucified! I will! Here are three such cases where these doctors end up in handcuffs, caught red-handed by the police. No matter how hard they try to slip away, justice catches up to them. On October 25, 2023, in Wenatchee, a body cam caught the arrest of Confluence Health neurologist Shannon Grostidier for hit and run and DUI after a crash at State Route 28 and Grant Road in East Wenatchee. During the arrest, Grostidier spat on a police officer, and as per WPD officer Reed Klein's report, she started to thrash around and throw her shoulder at us. Klein noted that she even tried to kick him. The incident unfolded after the hit and run, revealing a tense confrontation between Grostidier and the police. Well, such behavior is unexpected from a highly qualified individual like a neurologist, leaving the community shocked and questioning the actions of a respected medical professional. What's up, dude? What do you guys have over there? Uh, honestly, I was on a disturbance and I just cleared. And then I went to back 17, so PC for in run attended. I looked at a picture of the RO, so we'll see. Was it occupied by one? Yeah, Madeline's got to stop. Um, I'm on a craft too where a car crashed into a fence and then took off, and he thinks it was a uh, black SUV. So uh, they're not exactly not exactly sure, but she's the only one in there. Hi, Miss. How's it going? Uh, I'm Officer Hernandez with East Wenatchee. Hi. You've been dealing with Wenatchee. Absolutely. Um, how much have you had to drink today? I have Huh? I have Okay, here, we'll do this. We'll have you step out. We'll talk up here on the sidewalk. Okay? No, we're not going to do that. What was that? No. Okay, well, you're under arrest either way, okay? I'm under arrest for what? And run attended. Who do you mean? So you can step out of the car. I really don't want to have to pull you out. No, okay. no, no. I okay. don't. I don't understand what that means. All right. You are under arrest. So take your seatbelt off. Put that stuff over there. But, I'll be very patient with you. What do you mean by that? You're under arrest right now, and I don't want to have to take you out of the car. No, no. I I just didn't want to be back. Okay. okay. So take your seatbelt off. Awesome. You're doing great. Step out, please. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Face away, please. What does that mean? Step out first. You said face away, please. Step out and then face away from me. Okay. Lovely. Face that way. Okay, so I don't understand nope. what you have to step out. Okay. Yeah. You are under arrest. I will take you out of the car. I will give you one more oh, opportunity, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Oh, I understand okay. that we're being... I'm being... That's the way. Okay. Take a breath. Take a breath, okay? Separate your feet. Miss. Thank you. The officers approached Grostidier, and it became evident from her confused demeanor and clear signs of intoxication that she was inebriated. She could barely stand. The situation took a more serious turn as Grostidier, a notable figure in the field of neurology, declined to cooperate with the officers' procedures. Nevertheless, leveraging their experience, the officers successfully applied handcuffs, effectively gaining control over the situation. Got a small wrist. <sighs> All right, we're gonna go with one of these cars and I have to empty your pockets and read you something, okay? Right over here. No. But you didn't give me... I'll tell you a fourth time you're under arrest. We can talk about it over there. Okay? No, no, no. Okay, I will... I'll explain it to you. But we have to make it over there first, okay? Thank you. Um, well, more than one thing. But, uh... But you didn't, um... So you're gonna stand right here. Okay. You're gonna separate your feet. I don't understand. I guess that's kind of hard right now. I don't understand. This, this way. 
I've had people spit my face, so I don't want that to happen. But I don't understand why it's wrong. I don't understand why it's wrong. I don't understand what I did wrong. I don't understand what I did wrong. My rights are being violated. My rights are being violated. Absolutely I not. don't understand what I did wrong. My rights are being violated. Can we read my that? rights? You didn't read my rights. Okay, we're gonna go I feel violated. Right well, as you can see, Grostidier's reactions convey a blend of confusion, frustration, and a perceived violation of rights. As the officers attempt to explain the situation and initiate standard procedures, she repeatedly asserts her lack of understanding regarding the alleged wrongdoing. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer. I've been present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? No, I do not understand any of those rights. You want me to read it again? No. Okay. Having these rights uh, mind you. Okay. You have refused my rights. You have refused my rights. After the officers read her Miranda rights, which she refused to comprehend, she was taken to the station. The events that unfolded there got pretty chaotic, as she seems to have lost complete control of her mind. Hi, Shannon. Hi. We're gonna head inside, okay? I'm gonna plug this back in and something like that. Can I help you get out? I'll grab an arm. I don't want you to fall here. I'll help you. We're gonna walk right through these doors, okay? Hi. And so, could you, um, you tell me why I'm in handcuffs? Yep, you're you're under arrest for DUI. Oh, but how did you base it on? My observation of of uh, your ability to stand and talk, and uh, the odor that's coming from the back of the cop car. Oh, I see. That's what I'm getting my probable cause from. Yep. So there's a little but bit of a process. Didn't, you didn't do anything. Um, nope, we, we didn't do fields. No. Nope, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, anyway. Okay. And, and Can we head through the, the doors? No, because I don't trust your observation. Okay. So. Well, there I was another crime in East Wenatchee, and we have probable cause to arrest you uh, for hit and run attended. So we believe. Oh, wait. I can't get the hair out of my face. Thanks. I'm handcuffed. There's no hair in your face. There. Oh, that one? there's a little one. Here, I got oh, it for you. Wait, there. thank you. You're wait, welcome. Thank you. We can talk to you more, but we have to get inside because we both have a close pending. So you've been nice this whole time. So hopefully oh, yeah. it stays that way. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I gotta shut the door though. So just. Uh, you know Please. What? Um. Okay. Shannon, can you step away from the car? And then, how about this? Do you want to do fields right now? Yep. Sure. Okay. Perfect. Sure. Because you haven't given me a chance at all. Okay. Well, I don't and want you to behave because... like that. Oh. Oh. But see, you know what? I don't have my phone to observe because. All right. Like I said, our cameras are recording. Shannon, look, you're under arrest for what you're under arrest for. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, but we're just asking for a little bit of cooperation. Okay. You know what? Can you step away from the car so we can okay. get? No. You know what? I feel harassed. I, I'm sorry. You haven't you have given me a chance to get a field test. You haven't done anything. Well, based on how you're acting, I'm not. I'm not going to. I have not been given the opportunity to do a field test. I have not been given the opportunity to do a field test. Don't, don't I am uncomfortable. In instances like these, individuals, sometimes displaying audacity and denial, can behave in challenging ways, as seen with Grostidier's repeated questioning and expressions of frustration. Her act of spitting adds an additional layer of difficulty to the encounter. Despite the officer's efforts to address the situation and proceed with standard procedures, the encounter remains tense. It highlights the complex nature of dealing with individuals who, with maximum audacity, deny cooperation, making law enforcement tasks more challenging. 
She's under arrest for DUI and hit and run out of East Wenatchee. Okay. But they didn't even give me a chance to do any field tests. You are they right. Assumed, they assumed it was a DUI, but they haven't even given me any opportunity to give a field test. No, Shannon, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to book you for DUI, and I'm going to go get a, a warrant, okay, for your blood. Because I suspect that you're under the influence right now, but your level of cooperation has me a little bit scared to take you out of handcuffs. Okay. I'm just scared. I'm. A, I'm scared. I'm. A, well, I don't. I, I don't want to be assaulted. I don't. I'm not going to hurt and, you. I'm just. Well, uh, I'm afraid. You already spit on me. So why should I take you out of handcuffs? No, I just. So I'm just giving you the benefit oh my God, of the doubt. You I, have I'm, my phone. Yep. I'm telling you what's going to happen. Like a knife, a needle, scissors, anything that could poke, stick, or stab us. No? Shame on you. 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 You didn't even do any assorted field test. You didn't do anything. You didn't do any field okay. test. Shame on both of you. Shame on both of you. Shame on both of you. You will be crucified. I will. Shame on you. Shame on you. Like I am Okay, know Shannon, what. I have to check your chest. I'm gonna use the back of my hand. Oh yeah. Go for it. You don't Shame have anything in on there? you. Shame on you. Shame on you! You know what? You f***ing juvenile f***ing... Don't it. spit on me. I will not spit on you. Shame on you! And you know it! You know it! You're putting me in jail right now! Can she Shame stay in cuffs? on you! Shame on you! Stop! Can she stay in cuffs? Or do you yeah! Want keep me in okay. cuffs! I don't care! I can stay in cuffs the whole time! Shame on you! In the end, Grostidier faced charges of DUI and hit and run. Officers opted to book her for DUI and obtain a blood warrant due to her uncooperative behavior. Despite their explanations, Grostidier still accused them of assuming her intoxication without a field test. Well, the frustration on the part of the officers is evident as they ushered her into a room at the end. Just like Grostidier, there's another nurse who found herself in a tight spot caught by the watchful eyes of the cops for driving erratically. But this story takes a different turn. Unlike Grostidier, the nurse can't hold back the tears. I lost a patient tonight, and I had a couple drinks afterwards. On the evening of July 5, 2023, an officer on a routine patrol in Ohio noticed a Honda Civic exhibiting erratic behavior, swerving between marked lanes. Suspecting the female driver of being under the influence of alcohol, the officer decided to follow the vehicle. Upon initiating a traffic stop, the officer engaged with the female driver, who promptly identified herself as a nurse. The driver openly confessed to the officer that she had recently lost a patient and, as a result, had consumed alcohol. Disappointingly, the SFTs confirmed the driver's poor performance, strengthening the officer's suspicion of DUI and leading to her arrest. I've had a couple drinks. I am an RN at emergency department. Okay. Um, I lost a patient tonight, and I had a couple drinks afterwards. I'm sorry to hear that. So, and I'm just driving to his house to get home. Okay. So, how much? Literally, like a couple doors down. I've only had like four beers. Okay. So, what we're going to start off with is I'm just going to do a couple of different things to try to gauge your level of impairment, okay? Um, it's not illegal to drink, but it is illegal to be too impaired to drive, okay? All right. Do you know the alphabet? Yeah. Okay. So can you recite the alphabet beginning with the letter J and ending with the letter S? Okay. So the next thing we're going to be doing, can you watch me real quick? So can you watch me real quick? I'm going to demonstrate the next thing that we're going to be doing, okay? 
So what I want for you to do is one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm gauging that there's a level of impairment here. No, um, I'm just like... So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some standardized field sobriety testing. I'm going to be testing your eyes. You're going to do no, a I walk just... and turn and then stand on one leg for approximately 30 seconds while you're I raising can't. your other foot. Honestly, I fell off a four-wheeler six months ago, and I can't stand on my right knee. Okay. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, I lost the patient. I'm, I'm very... I can't. I'm very sorry to hear that. However, um, like I said, I do believe that there's a, a level of impairment here, and I don't think that you're safe to drive, okay? So I need to... Okay, then don't let me drive. Just let me, like, drive okay. me home or literally okay. a couple times. So, so what I want for you to do is just try to breathe, okay? And then just shut off the vehicle and just stand by, okay? I'll be right back with you. Well, despite the driver's emotional state and attempt to garner sympathy by sharing personal struggles, the officer remained focused on her duty to ensure public safety. The officer proceeded with field sobriety tests, starting with a simple alphabet recitation and accounting exercise, both of which she struggled with. The officer observed signs of impairment and informed the driver that further standardized field sobriety tests will be conducted. Alrighty, you can go ahead and just leave all your belongings and stuff inside the vehicle, okay? Can I pause my car? We'll give you an opportunity of that later. Right now, we're just trying to figure out where we're going to go from here, okay? And then I'm you can make a phone call. Okay. I'm literally a nurse and I just lost a patient. Okay, so we're going to be coming over here behind the vehicle. All right, are you a diabetic? Just a... I'm not that I know of. Any recent head injuries? Um, I cracked the windshield in my car a couple months ago. Okay, do you have any outstanding issues with that, vision, um, balance, or anything like that? Okay, have you ever been diagnosed with a natural nystagmus? I don't... Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the walk and turn. I, I saw a post-formular, I... Can't put weight on my right leg. Okay, so are you able? This is walking. This is the walking portion that we talked about. This isn't the standing on one leg. So this is you're gonna walk nine heel to toe my, steps. My knee literally gives down on me. Okay. Like I can't. Okay. Did you want to try it or no? No. Okay. Um, and then the other one is the one that you already said that you might not be able to do is the one leg stand. I can do my left, my left leg. My response is to you to call Mike Bagecki or to call any Cleveland police because I am an RN and I'm literally two doors down okay, from I the get, house I'm going to. I get that, but I was behind you and I saw you driving for quite a while and just because you almost made it to your destination. I from teams. Okay, well it doesn't make it okay for you to be drinking and driving. I completely understand it's not okay. So I'm not okay, gonna call I anybody. A I'm pizza tonight and I literally just wanted to draw okay. off my so coworker. I, I'm trying to give you an opportunity to do these tests. Are you willing to perform the tests? You're giving me an opportunity to which would cost my license. Okay. What I'm trying to do like I told you from the beginning is I'm trying to gauge your level of impairment. By doing the test, okay. I fell off a four wheeler eight months ago. I can't. Okay. So you don't want to make any attempts. I will make an attempt. Okay. Don't start walking yet. All I want you to do is just get in that one position and just hold it, and then I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Okay. So you have to start from that position that I just demonstrated for you. Okay. That's just the beginning, and then I want to. Right knee is messed up. Okay. Okay, so when I tell you to begin, do you want me to go through and demonstrate the rest of it? I can't with my right knee. I can't. Okay, the next one is going to be the one leg stand, okay? okay? So what you'll do is you'll put your feet together, arms down to your side, foot, and you're counting out loud. One, two, three. Watch your raised foot, and your arms five, are down to your side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your arms are down to your side. Well, do you want me 
and you're doing front lunge? Until I tell you to stop, yes. Yeah. Okay. One. One, two, three, All right, go ahead and stop. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Unfortunately, she performed poorly on these tests, reinforcing the officer's suspicion of driving under the influence. Consequently, the officer placed her under arrest. But that was not an easy task. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. Based off of everything, you're going to be under arrest for OVI. So turn around, put your hands behind your back. Please don't. You're under arrest. Drive me home. I, I'm don't. not going to drive you home. You're under arrest for OVI. So, Please don't. I am a nurse. I will lose my license. Okay. Please do not. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. No. We are past that point. No, I'm not. Turn around and put your hands I behind your back. I worked last night till 3 a.m. and went okay. out with my friends. Please do not. You are under arrest. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. I am begging you. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Call You're under arrest. Call I'm not calling anybody. You're under arrest. <laughs> Give me this hand. Is there anything from the vehicle that you need? Do you need house keys? You need my your wallet, phone, my purse, my phone. Okay, so did you give this officer permission to get that from your vehicle? I'm literally a nurse. He's okay, so stop nervous. pulling away. Stop pulling I'm away. I'm not resisting. Please do not do it's, this. It's past the point. You're under arrest. Okay, there's no negotiating it. I can't with my okay. knee. That has nothing to do with it. You are ruining my life. Okay, you're ruining your own life. You shouldn't have been drinking and driving. You could have killed somebody. That's I was on the street I was I going to. I was on the street I was going to. Okay. Let me call my All right. parents. No, we're not making a phone call right now. Are you walking back to my car? Turn around. Let me go. I'm not hey. letting you go. If you take 20, get 27 off the lineup. If you don't stop, you're going to be charged with resisting arrest. Good. Have a seat. No. Let's get in the car. Up your leg. Please, my knee, I can't. I hope you have that on video. Okay, it, it is the entire thing has been on video. Following a routine jail search, officers found medications stolen from the suspect's workplace. The Cleveland Clinic Police Department detective got involved. The DUI arrest escalated. Body cam footage depicted an entitled nurse facing legal repercussions. Charged with DUI, weaving course, and following too close, she pleaded guilty. The court sentenced her to three days in jail and fined her $1,138. Well, just like the easy arrest of a nurse, there's another doctor, initially caught for one offense, finding himself entangled in double charges, both equally serious. Just, just tell me. Somebody needs to come pick up the car, they'll do it. There's more than enough people. On May 24, 2022, in St. Petersburg, Florida, Dr. William Wright Adams, a plastic surgeon, faced anything but an ordinary traffic stop. Initially pulled over for burglary suspicions, his day took a nosedive when officers uncovered an unexpected turn of events, a pack of crystal meth hidden in his car. Well, a crystal meth in a plastic surgeon's car? Not your everyday discovery, for sure. This wasn't Dr. Adams' first run-in with crystal meth. Flashback to 2020, when deputies seized a package of crystal meth from his backpack at a security checkpoint. The case was dropped then, but it was a sign of things to come. Uh, looks like he just pulled over on 33 Street. Perfect. We can 15 him right away. I'll explain everything, okay? What's going on? I'll explain everything, all right? 
Okay, that's fine. This is more important right now. Thank you. All right. Is this too tight to pull your hands? I'm operating where at? You say you got to Okay, where at? My office. Where's that at? You got anything in your pockets or anything? I don't do so. I'll check. I'll check. I'm just going to set this on your gas real quick. Adams got handcuffed right away. He looked surprised and confused, asking the cop what he had done wrong. Up until then, the officers didn't know what else they would find. They cuffed him for burglary, but there was more to uncover. You want somebody to come pick up your car? Yeah, you want somebody to come and pick up your car? Because we're parked on 31st Street. Right. Busy street. I mean, so. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Well, I'd love to talk to you. Um, before I can ask you anything, we've got to read you your rights, okay? But I want to figure out because we're blocking a busy street right here. They're putting okay. somebody to sleep right now for okay. me to operate on. Okay. So I have to call Would you them like me to I, call I them and there. tell them? Um, or are they going to do that when you show up? Um, they're all waiting for me right now. Okay. So I'm are sorry. they doing the medicine prior to you showing up? Station probably somewhat. Usually yes, they, yes or no? Because I'll make a call over yeah, there. Yes, please call. Okay. Three two eight. What is it? Can I take the yeah. telephone number? Yep. Three two eight nine. Okay. Can you call three two eight find the office and just tell them not to uh, sedate the next uh, person? What is it? Three two eight. Three two eight. What is it? Three, two, eight. Is there somebody that can pick up your car, or are we yes, just gonna yes, there tow is. it? Yes, there is. Okay. Who is it? Um, just, just tell them. You know, if somebody's come pick up the car, they'll do it. There's more than enough people. Are you saying from someone from the office? Yeah, there's more than enough. He's saying there's more than enough people at the office to come and pick up the car. I know you probably have uh, no clue what's going on right now, but. I think you have a uh, perspective of what I'm going to bring up that I'd appreciate um, statements for. Um, that's up to you. Um, I want to ask you a specific question, but before I do that, I have to read you your rights. Um, okay? I do that with everyone that's in custody. Okay? All right. Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you. You could decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I have explained to you? Yes, sir. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Uh, I would be my attorney, Kevin Hazley. Okay. You want your attorney present? Yes, sir. Okay. What's a good phone number for, uh, you said Kevin? Kevin Hazley. Okay, what's a good phone number for him? I, I have to look at my phone. Kevin Hazley? I can, Hazlet. 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 Hazlet, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll look it up and see if I can get his office number or you have a better number for him. I think I, on my cell phone, I have his cell phone number. Okay, all right, hang tight, okay? Well, upon being read his Miranda rights, Adams quickly chose not to talk to the officer and requested a lawyer, mentioning Kevin Hazlitt. It turned out to be a smart move for him. However, what happened next went beyond anyone's expectations. The officers hadn't found any meth yet. He, we need to call his lawyer. He wants his lawyer present. Um, Kevin Hazlitt. Um, he has a better number in here. Um, you want to find a better number in here? Can you maneuver it like that or if you lean forward? I know those cuffs aren't comfortable. If you need me to help you with something, just let me know. You want me to power it on? Hey Siri, call Kevin Hazlett. Well, we don't want to Which call. phone number for Kevin? Yeah, we'll we'll call him over here. We'll let him know. Three, two, zero. It's it's under. Is it 401 or a 5? Oh, Cancel. Okay, I won't. 
Hey Siri, call Kevin Law. We don't we don't want to call him. Calling Kevin Law Mobile. Okay, that's that's it's calling him now. Okay. I just hung up just because we will call him from a work number. Okay. Um do you mind if I go under recent calls to get the phone number? Can you sir? Do you mind if I... Yeah, go ahead, okay. 424... Cherie is handling everything, she said. Sorry, can you... Uh, you lost the number that the screen went on. Kevin Law, yeah. But his last name is... Hazlett. Hazlett. Does he want to talk to his lawyer with us? He said he did, room. so I'll, I'll so ask him again. Take him to the interview room and wait for his lawyer to go. Do you, because he's going to ask, do you want to talk to us while he's present in our interview room? Do I want to talk to Do you me? want to talk to me while your attorney is there yes. in the interview room? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. While searching Adams' vehicle, the police made a significant discovery. Inside a leather backpack, they found a glass pipe and, according to the police report, a packet containing three grams of crystal meth. Well, the unfortunate turn of events meant that Adams, initially stopped for burglary suspicions, now faced additional charges related to the possession of methamphetamine. Think about it, a plastic surgeon caught with this stuff. It's surprising, right? Who would think a doctor would carry something like that? Hi, this is Detective Bauer with St. Pete Police. Hey, Detective Bauer, how are you? Kevin Hazlett here. Good, uh, Kevin. Just talking to your sergeant. I'm just going to, if you could do me a favor, just put it on speaker. I'll let Bill know what I just said to your yep. sergeant. He's right here. He can hear you. You want to confirm that you can hear him? Yes. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill, here's what we're going to do. I talked to the sergeant. It was a nice young lady. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to invoke your rights against self-incrimination. This is not the time to tell your story. There will be a time. This is not that time. So I have invoked your rights uh, against speaking to them. Uh, we'll have an opportunity to speak to the right people at the right time. Just today is not the time. So I'm going to ask you not to answer any more of the questions. They're not going to ask you any more questions. I would ask Bill that you don't voluntarily want to explain what happened because there'll be a time for that. Do you understand that, Bill? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's just, let's assume that you've been given propofol and you can't talk, okay? So just say nothing. Let's go ahead and, and just, uh, we'll, I'll connect with you. I will get you bonded out of jail this afternoon. It will take probably till 3 or 4 o'clock today. They've got to book you. They've got to take you. This process uh -huh. takes some time. So um, after you get out, you and I will talk, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. And then at, at the appropriate time, we will talk to the people that need to hear your story, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. No so problem. Thank you, Detective. Thank thank you. Detective. No thank worries. You, Sergeant, if your sergeant's still there. I will I let her know. It. Yeah, Bill won't be making any statements. And, and then uh, if it's possible, if, if, if it's not, I totally understand. If someone could just let me know at this number that he's been at Pinellas County Jail. Okay. And I'll go over there and make sure he's fine. If you, if you don't want to, that's fine. But if you could, as a courtesy, I'd certainly appreciate it. Yeah, I'll Bill, see if I'll I can do that. That would be wonderful, and I really appreciate it. Bill, I'll talk to you this afternoon, okay? Okay. Thank you. Sounds good. Thanks, Bill. Take care. Thanks, you guys. All right. Thanks. Bye. Dr. William Wright Adams was charged with possession of methamphetamine and residential burglary. Well, his first felony criminal case was dropped, but now he's awaiting trial on his second crystal meth possession case. His license status is clear slash active with no discipline or complaints.